Here we go. Welcome back to Dave Wright the Capitalist. I have been on Twitter a little bit <laughs> and just laughing about, I shouldn't say I'm laughing. I mean, people are stressed out. That's why I'm making this video. But am I clipping? Yeah, I think I'm clipping. I can hear it in my headset. Let me try this again. Can you hear me here? Oh, actually, you can hear me. Uh, I don't know. Let me, let me know how the audio sounds. I got to adjust the audio. I think I figured out why the camera was turning off at 30 minutes, and I think that that problem has been solved. But today we're going to talk about why crypto is not crashing. I don't know. It's just not. <laughs> and I'm going to show you objectively that cryptocurrency is not crashing. So we can take a look at that today and see if I can make you feel a little bit comfortable. Uh, before we start doing that, remember, let me pull you over here. This is my YouTube channel. If you could come over here to Dave Wright the Capitalist and give me a sub. I want to start making content on this again. Also, this is uh, this is going to be talking about uh, my Amazon store. We have the analyzer tools here for you that we'll get into in some other videos. Um this is also going to be talking about crypto. If you want to join Crypto Labs Underdog Investment Group, please use the links here or in the video description. Uh, we have an investment group where you can learn how to do DeFi. And I'm going to talk a little bit about DeFi today and why it's so powerful. And I really hope that this isn't clipping if it's not getting too too loud. Um, maybe I can turn it down just a hair here on my, on my end. Maybe that's better. Okay. So, and also this is, if you want some mental stuff, I do have a philosophy channel that I'm trying to get off the ground. So you can head over to my website, DaveWriteTheThinker.com, subscribe on my YouTube, my BitChute, uh, my Rumble. Uh, Twitter is more of my comedy stuff. You probably want to stay away from that. But anyways, so into what's going on with the markets right now, if, if, if you're here and you're curious about investing or whatever, they're trying. I don't know who the they's are, but the intelligent people that are manipulative, let's say, they're trying to manipulate your emotions and your biological urges and your scarcity mentality that you were. I don't even need these, actually. And they're trying to make you concerned about your investments and pull out so they can scalp you. So if you bought an investment, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, any of those products, and you're not familiar with what they are, and you don't understand Bitcoin, you don't understand blockchain, you don't understand Ethereum, you don't understand apps, you don't understand change, you don't understand decentralized finance, but you think it's like a gamble, and you see that it's going down, you feel like you're going to lose all your money. And they're counting on that. They're counting on you pulling out. They're counting on you buying it at 70000 dr They drop it down to sixty, and then you sell and panic and lose all your money. And they don't care about that small percentage. They're trying to fleece that money from you on the big end and then use it to buy back in. So do not panic. Do not panic. Do not panic. I'm going to objectively show you why here. So, all right, so let's do, I want to do at least 30 minutes because I want to see if I fix the camera so that it doesn't, so that the camera doesn't uh, just shut off anymore. But let's head over to a little site called CoinMarketCap. And if you go over to CoinMarketCap, you can see all the cryptos here. And these are currently lined up by market cap, which is a, the amount of funding in those coins. A couple of things you can do on this page is one, you can see that the amount of money, the most money that anybody's pu putting anywhere is into Bitcoin right now. It's number one in market cap. You can see the volume. This is what's going in and out, the amount. So if you take these two numbers and kind of look at them, you can see how much is being traded and how much is being held, all right? And if you look at the numbers here, 
you're basically saying, oh, my God, it went down in the last hour. It went down in 24. It went down 70, 18%. The world is, the world is ending. Number two, you got Ethereum here. This is the second biggest. This is the first blockchain, and then this is the uh, a, a different type. This is a proof of stake coin. Um, this is going to – I don't want to get too sidetracked, but this is basically digital gold, and there's going to be a, a certain amount that is made, and then there'll be no more gold, and the gold will get pricier and pricier, and it'll have to be split between everybody on the planet if this – is used and then this is this is like uh, digital real estate. So this is like a raw mineral in the soil of the digital universe. This is like a, um, a highway or real estate. This is property can be owned. This tether right here. This is a. It's called USDT. It's it's tied to the U.S. dollar. Um, this is kind of like a rope that's like you remember Poltergeist, where they had the rope, the ethereal, like pulling people out. And you had, maybe that's a bad example, but you need a way to tie fiat currency into the digital realm. You need to tie. Do I have paper here? Yeah, so I have cash here. So you need to tie this paper, right? And you got to get it digital. This is that that is tying and binding those two. And the other thing that binds it is it takes energy to mine Bitcoin for people to go through the the um, the encryptions of the computer. And that's not a bug; it's a feature. It means that real world energy needs to be expended in order to mine the Bitcoin. So as energy goes up, it gets more expensive to mine Bitcoin. And as energy goes down, it gets easier. So that keeps that tied into actual reality. And then Tether ties it into um, current finances. And then BNB here, this is the Binance stock, sort of say. So this is kind of like a store this is like the real estate stuff. And this is kind of like a store and another smart chain that's been built in this real estate online that's tied to all the all this together. And I won't go through all of them here, but this is blockchain. Uh, this is proof of stake. Uh, if I'm please correct me if I'm a complete idiot, because I'm not an expert on this stuff. This is a stable coin, which means that it's pegged uh, and it's staying close to one one dollar because it's a, like I said it's a rope tying the digital world to the real world but anyways what I wanted to do you go through these coins here and by market cap and let's click on Bitcoin right here it's gonna go up and you, you see people look at this and they say oh uh oh What's going on? Bitcoin's at 54K. And then the media and CNN and MSNBC and Chase Bank and all these naysayers get on here and tell you that Bitcoin's crashing. And so as you're looking at this chart, let's zoom out a little bit and let's see what happened over the past week. Okay, over the past week, it's down 17%. The world must be ending, right? 17% of the, the of value that was in Bitcoin has been removed. Let's go out to a month. Oh, no, it was 4%, 4%, oh, 2.61% now in the last month, 4% in the last month dip in Bitcoin. It's absolutely crashing. Let's zoom out again. Let's zoom out to the full year. Oh, no. Oh, I'm shocked. Over the past year, Bitcoin is up 88%. <laughs> so if you put money in, crypto 365 days ago you'd be up 88 percent okay so crypto is not crashing all right so here we are you're we're looking at this this is eight four even if you go back to the beginning of the year what's the beginning of the year here here's january 1st it was 39 uh it was here's a low right here this is 39 uh, eight 
back in January. So it's not it's it's up. It's up 20 grand people. Okay? This is re, this is the reality of it. These are the realities of the charts. Let's go let's go back here. Let's look at Ethereum. Let's what's going on with Ethereum. Oh no. Five, it's down 6% from last night. 7 days ago. It's down 29%. Oh no. Over the past month, it's down 21%. Over the past year, it's up 30%. Okay, so here we are. We're at 23.51. Here's the last low point that was lower than that was back in, was so like, that November of 2023? So let's find January, the beginning of the year. So here's the beginning of the year right here. At the low point, it was 2,200, and now it's at 23. So... It's up a it's up a couple grand. This is a uh, a lot of this stuff moves around in different chains, but this over the past year is up thirty percent. So let's say a year ago you wanted to buy Ethereum. Let's go to all time. Well, all, I mean all time, it's up eighty three thousand eighty three thousand two hundred percent. But let's go let's go let's go back to in order. If this were to dip to the beginning of the year, all right, so here, this was this is 2022. So it would have to get under 1,200 to see 2022 prices and to get really low, 600s, you'd have to go back to 1,226, all right? So we did have some all-time highs here. Here's the all-time high, We and it was up to 4,600 on in November 2021, and then we hit... A high, but not an all-time high, of almost 4K. And now it's just down to 23. So this is just a market adjustment. But if you look at it over the whole year, if you would put money in a year ago, you'd be up 29%. Not crashing. Tether is pegged. Let's do BNB. This is the Binance. This is Binance, the biggest exchange, one of the biggest exchanges. A day ago, down 3.8%. Seven days ago, down 20%. One month ago, down 6%. One year ago, if you had bought Binance 365 days ago, you'd be up 95% on your investment in one year. 95% people. We're at 471. And it's January, so you could have got it on... 125, you could have got it for 291 and it'd be worth 470 right now. Can you see how this is a narrative that's being carried out that this is crashing and that there isn't there isn't coins, there isn't investments here like crypto that can get you these types of returns. Now they're gonna not go up like this forever. That's why they're manipulating the markets right now. Because they want you to panic and they want you to sell because they want to get this price back down so they can double their money back in again and then it's going to climb back up to the, this thing. So let's take something like Solana that was just launched pretty recently. And this is down 1.1% uh, over the past day. In seven days, it's down 20%. In one month, it's over the month, it's still up 5%. So Solana is not crashing. It's actually up over the past month. And if you go over the past year, and I think the, when was the release date of Solana? All right, way back in 2020, but it took traction here. This one, it took real traction was 2021. Hit an all-time low, high, back here. But anyways, over the year, if you had bought Solana, you'd be up 533%. It's right here. It's right here, right above my head. <laughs> right here, right above me. Wait, right above my head here. See it? <laughs> so, you, so you don't have to take my word. You can do this for any of the uh, any of the stuff that you're in. Okay? You can go right here online. You can look this stuff up. Do it on your own. If you're getting into these investments, you can see this stuff. But now I'm going to show you a little something here. Okay, I'm going to show you the power. The power. Wait, hold on. Hold on, I need some headsets here. <laughs> yeah, you're going to enjoy this. Is 
this the one? I'm going to show you the power. No, no, no. Let's do this one. I'm going to show you the power. <laughs> I'm going to show you the power. I'm going to show you the power of decentralized finance. Okay. So let's just look at Ethereum here. Ethereum is over the past month. All right. When, when did this downfall start? So here it was at 3000, right? This was back on 8 to 2024. And then it kind of went way down. It went all the way down here to about 2200 on 8.5. And now we're at 8.7. And it's back. It went up. And now it's back down to 23. So let's just say, so this was 8.2. So this is the beginning of the month. So yes, if you look at this past month, this looks pretty, pretty bad, pretty Damaging, right? We need to make up. Let's pull a calculator out here. Okay, I got my calculator here, right? We were at, if I had one, one Ethereum back here, it was at 2941. 2941. And today it's at 2355. 2355. That's $580 that it's down. So for every one Ethereum you have, you need $586. Okay, so let's go over here. Let me go over here. Let me go over here to investing uh, exchanges. No, crypto tools, technical analysis. Let's go to trading view for a second. And let's go to crypto and let's go to Ethereum. And crypto, crypto, let's go to Ethereum on Coinbase, I guess. And let's move this down here and let's look at this over the next six months. So. We have a, a crash here. <laughs> All right. This is this is not like the crash crash, but here's the two eight. Let's let's make sure this is at six months. So here is this the two eight date here? Yeah. So there's the eight two right here that we just looked at on the other on the other chart. And it's going straight down. So it's gotta go back up. So let's just pretend for a second that this data is enough data to go by these two data points and we want to get back up to this point here so let's put an imaginary line here uh at this this point right here let's say that this is where we got to get back up to on the 82 right and Let's just pretend that we have enough data points to determine that it's rising back up between this point and this point. And I'm going to take a trend line and I'm going to go through here and I'm going to touch it to there and I'm going to go up at this angle. All right. This is uh, hardly enough data. I would guess that it's, it's more like this let's but let's just pretend okay let's a play a make a believe all right so this is our our entry day here and this would be the day of it coming back and so when would that be that would be august 15th so that's way too soon all right so let's it's let's just Let's give it a month instead. Let's take this. Let's take this. Where is where is a month? This would be September. If that was a second. 
this would be this would be a a full month. You'll see what I'm doing in a second, okay? I don't think this is the case. I think it's going to take more than this. But if this dropped all the way down and it needs to climb all the way back up to here, it would take a month. All right, so you're waiting 30 days to get from here to there. If it doesn't go down any further, a full 30 days. All right? I'm guessing at least four months. But who knows? All right, so now I'm going to show you the, the power of DeFi. I'm going to go into my vfat.io. And I actually got to pull some numbers up here on my other screen and get my calculator out again. So I have, well, let me explain what you're looking at here first. So I have some coins in here that are currently making me $52 a day in fees. So right here, this is $14.70 in Ethereum USD making $26 a day. This is ETH USDT making $550 a day. And this is wrapped ETH with Brett, which I probably shouldn't have been in, making $20 a day. And this is ARB USD making $0.74, cents, which is... We won't get into why I'm in this, but... <laughs> but basically, I want you to look at these, these ETH wrapped stuff here okay and i'm going to do some i'm going to do some numbers so first off i want to tell you how much i lost all right so let's pull up this calculator here because this was closer to five grand in deposits i'm just going to pull up my thing here so i currently this is at 1470 so let me type that in over here that's at 641 is the ETHUSDT. So 641. Brett is at 462. And 369 for the ARB. Okay. So now uh, 631 plus 533. Plus eight fifty eight plus three forty five. I am down. I am currently down on these investments here that are locked in two thousand three hundred and sixty seven. So because of the money that went out that went down in these investments. I lost 2,365 bucks. If I sold everything panicked, was like, I'm out of this, right? So now, but I'm making 40, roughly $47 a day. And I've seen this as high. This will go up to like, this This is the lowest it usually goes. It'll be around 45, 47. But I've seen this all the way up to 90, 80. So I'll make more money. And this automatically gets deposited into my wallet here. It's currently getting, uh, let's see, on the base chain, it's currently putting it in my wallet in Arrow. So we have 417 Arrow being deposited from some Brat coin, some uh, uh, wrapped ETH. So I got like $80, $70 in wrapped ETH. I got the Brat coin coming in. This is, I mean, this Arrow, this is what, two, almost 300 bucks. So these are all fees that are coming in. All right, so when I look at these deposits, go back to these deposits here, right? I'm down two, two, three, six, seven, but I'm making forty-seven fifty-two a day. So if I divide that by forty-seven, that's fifty days. Okay, so oh, my camera did go out. I gotta figure out. So it didn't. So it didn't work. I don't know why this is going out at the thirty-minute mark, but I'll fix that in the future. It's annoying. Okay. So. So fifty days. 
there'll be enough fees to recoup this. Okay? So let's go back here to the Ethereum chart. This is 30. So we have 82. Let's open up. Let's open up a new chat here. Uh, what do I want to look for? Okay. It's 8 to 2024. Please add 50 days. So that would bring me to September 21st. So take this. It's off the charts, people. So let's say it's right about here. Oh, it won't even let me. So let's say it's right about here. The question would be, do I think Ethereum would rebound in that time? I don't personally think it's going to be, not financial advice. But if it does, but if it doesn't, if it doesn't rebound in that time, I will have recovered all my money from these fees of collecting $50 in fees a day by then, okay? So as Ethereum is being sold and traded, I'm getting a piece of that. And if we're on this chart here, if Ethereum ends up going back to normal here, I'm still collecting $50 a day, and then I have all my stuff. But if it doesn't, worst case scenario, I'm going to be at my break-even point in 50 days. So my investments here break even then, and then it's all positive cash flow after the fact from that point forward. So if I was just holding that, then I'm, I have to wait for the market to get back to the price it was at before I could do anything. If I wanted out of Ethereum, all I have to do now to not lose my money would be wait 50 days. And at this 50 day mark, I will have my investments back paid to me through, um, through the, the Aerodome process, the, uh, the VFAT in Aerodome. And so the other thing I'm not doing right now is... I don't know how the reason I'm keeping this in ETH and not converting it and I'm keeping this in Arrow, Arrow could go up in the meantime and so could ETH. So this could be worth more. So as the market goes down, right, and ETH goes down, wrapped ETH goes down and Arrow price goes down, but I'm still making that much in fees. So not so when the market goes back up, the money that I collected in fees will go back up. So this will be worth more. And even if it stays the same, I'm only on a 50-day window before I've broken even. Um, let me go over here to full screen. Can you see how that would make DeFi a very powerful tool when investing? So instead of holding everything in a wallet, if you let people borrow it to collect fees, if the market goes up, you're getting fees from it going up and the assets going up. If it goes sideways, you're getting fees and the assets staying the same. And if it goes down, yes, you've lost money because you're in the market, but you recoup it faster because you're recouping the fees faster. And then if you want it out of that position, you could get out of that position. But if you're willing to wait it out, your money is just making money. And I, the other thing that I could do too I could start taking that money and converting it into USD or ETH and holding it at this low price. And then if everything climbs back up again, I'm making profit with, with uh, that on the back end. Now I want to take a less known coin. Just going to go over to here. This is Beefy Finance. And I have a coin here, uh, OVN. This didn't drop too, too drastically. 
but I only got a couple thousand bucks in this particular on this particular wallet on this particular exchange. But I had twenty two fifteen in here. It's currently worth twenty one sixty five. I've lost fifty dollars, but I've made eighty four dollars in fees. So if I just held, so we got eighty four plus fifty. If I just held, I would be down one hundred and thirty four dollars. But because I have this in here collecting fees, eighty four dollars in fees have made up the difference that I'm only down 50. So in a couple of days on this one, I'm making about 974 uh, a day on this. So if I take that 50 bucks and I divide it by 974, let's say 950, that's five days. So in five and a half days, I can come back here if everything stays similar the same and just fees coming and I can get out of this investment on a break-even point. If I were to hold it longer, at that point, I'm going to start generating $9.74 a day. And you're like, well, Dave, $9.74, what is that? It's 164 APR. I don't know if you have a bank that's giving you 164 APR, but I sure as heck don't. Um, so that's really good money that's being made on this aerodrome here. This aerodrome, again but it's on the beefy network. So just to recap and to close it up here, if you go over and you look at these actual coins and you check out, oh, here's Bitcoin Cash, down 2% in a day, down 26% in seven days, down 6% in a month, but on the year, it's up 31%. So if you'd bought this a year ago, you'd be up 31% on your investment. If you zoom out on these projects, you'll see that crypto is not crashing. It's not going anywhere. And if you look into DeFi, you could see how you could hedge your, your investments. So you're starting to make, this is 527% APR is crazy returns. I'm not going to do a video on VFAT right here, but... This allows me to auto harvest, so it's going to send money right to my. Um, oh, I should have this screen up. I was I was over on the Bitcoin Cash screen here, but I'm on VVAT. This will uh, this will auto harvest my rewards and send them to my wallet. And then if this gets out of these ranges here, this will even auto rebalance my ranges based what's up. So this AI is really taking off now to help you. Um, with this stuff. So if that was helpful, please leave a like, please leave a comment. Again, I thought I fixed my camera. I didn't. I thought it was changing to low res at 30 minutes to relax. I have all the digital timers off. I have the low res uh, turned off now. I don't know why the camera is blacking out at 30 minutes, but I do need to fix it. So if you have any idea, please put that below. If you have questions or concerns about this, let me know. I'm going to get off right now and upload this, but uh, crypto is not crashing, uh, <laughs> and, and that's all I really have to say. So, okay.